so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket there has been a very important paper that has been released around a new architecture proposed for llms that is large language diffusion models so if you have been into the generative space you must be knowing that diffusion is a process majorly used for image generation dit you might be hearing a lot diffusion transformers but this time the paper introduces stating that diffusion architecture can now be used for language generation as well text generation for llms and this is what the paper has attempted so in the past few months i think we have seen a number of new architectures coming in including mamba google's titan large concept models by meta byte latent transformer again by meta and now large language diffusion models so basically this is a very uh, important architecture that has been introduced because diffusion has never been tied with text generation and hence the results also that i would be sharing in the end are looking quite good so before we jump on to understanding lldms we first need to understand what is diffusion so in very short i will be explaining you diffusion is a class of generative models basically there are two phases involved in diffusion you take an input you gradually corrupt it and then once the and once the input is completely corrupted then you have a reverse process to improve to the back to the input image so i'll be showing you a diagram that should clear a lot of things so see this this is the input image that we went uh, as we are moving ahead we are adding some noise until unless the end the entire image becomes trash once it has become completely trash we will reverse the process reducing the noise and then eventually getting back to the older image this is what diffusion process is in simple terms now coming to large language diffusion models LLMs combine the principle of diffusion models with the capabilities of large language models. So this is what we are talking about. So let's understand how does LLM works. I will be giving you a basic example. We won't be diving deep into the technicals of LLMs as it would be out of the scope. But just have a hang. How does the model work? So basically, assume that this is the input sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. First of all, we would be starting with masking tokens independently with a probability as t. So at t zero point one, this is a time random mask sum tokens. Original was quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Mask is the mask brown mask jump. So you have now started masking some words. So instead of adding noise here, we are using masking. That's the only difference. So as a time, if you go back to the previous image, as it assume this to be t zero point one to zero point two t zero point three. And the last is t is equals to one, where the image is completely distorted. Similarly, in case of text, instead of adding noise, we are adding mask. So assume at midway t equals to zero point five, half of the tokens are now masked, and at t equals to one, the end where the image gets completely distorted. In case of LLMs, the entire text gets masked, mask, 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 as you can see. Now, in the reverse process, I think you might have understood. We'll start off with this particular task, and then eventually start predicting the tokens. So at t equals to one, this is completely masked. No word is shown. At t equals to zero point five, we would start predicting the brown jump over the dog, and some masks are remaining. One thing important that you might have observed is that it is not using the previous tokens to generate the next token. It is gen. It is predicting the tokens randomly. This is the most important part. So in case of uh, uh, the usual transformer architecture that we use, basically what happens? Uh, you are predicting tokens one after the other. So you are using the previous tokens to predict the next one. In case of LLMs, that won't be the case. You would be predicting random tokens, and at t equals to zero, you would be getting your full sentence again. This is how it works. Quite easy. Instead of just adding noise, we are adding mask. That's the only difference. Talking about the training, I think it's very very similar to how Im image models are trained. Prepare large corpus of text, and then randomly sample a masking ratio t. And mask tokens accordingly. So set up a to uh, ratio masking ratio. So if it's 0.5, that means half of the tokens would be masked in that sentence. And then use cross entropy for loss calculation. Inferencing is also quite easy. Assume the prompt to be like this: the mask brown mask jumps over mask dog. So the sampling steps first: quick fox lazy. This is how the inferencing would happen. Talking about the main stage of LADA. So the basic uh, model that has been released is LADA. What they call it in LLMs. So LLMs is a family of models, and LADA is the name of the model. Pre-training masking happens, mask prediction happens, and remasking happens. 
after prediction some of the predicted tokens may be remasked to stimulate the diffusion process supervised fine tuning i'm just wrapping this out a bit so again repeating the same stuff that we have read for transformer training where supervised fine tuning almost remains the same the model is fine tuned on a pair of prompts and responses where responses are subjected to masking not the prompt do remember this mass prediction is used to predict the original response token sampling diffusion process during sampling lada simulates a diffusion process that starts with full mask sequence that means everything is masked and gradually unmask the token simultaneous prediction at each step of the diffusion process the model predicts all tokens simultaneously and flexible remasking strategies so you can use different remasking strategies this is a little unimportant so i'm just running through it the crew the core of lldms was to understand how diffusion is used for text prediction now coming to the important part performance so lada 8b this is a new model performs well on math science chinese it has some weaknesses towards coding and general tasks compared to Llama 3 8B or Quint 2.57B. So when comparing with the same um, range of models, Lada is quite good with math, science, Chinese tasks, but is quite weak with coding and general tasks. Overall, it looks to be a decent model. And I think given the new architecture, as things will evolve, the model will also evolve. So concluding that uh, large language diffusion models are looking to be an exciting field because before that no one thought of using diffusion for uh, text generation so this is a great ideation and i think given the first results uh, the architecture also looks interesting i hope to see more models on lldms thank you so much